Holy moly, this actually is kind of like carbon copy. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we are going to be talking about the upcoming event because the Alchemy Stars Twitter has dropped a whole bunch of information. There's a lot of stuff going on, but essentially they've actually dropped like I think the entire event. So this is really cool because it gives us a couple of dates to prepare. Although at this point in the game, there probably isn't too much that you can prepare for. Alas, I just wanted to go through all of the different information and kind of give my thoughts around it. And on top of that, a couple of days ago, I actually made a video on like the predictions of what I thought the event would be like. And so I wanna see how accurate I got it. All right, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. But first I wanna talk about this promotional video launch. If you guys have not seen this yet, I would go suggest watching this, but this is like freaking awesome. Essentially it is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Essentially it's kind of like a little animated sequence and it's really, really nice, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. And you guys should go ahead and watch this. On top of that, this campaign actually follows like a follow and retweet thing where 10 people actually get a $10 Apple or Google Play store gift card. Honestly, that's pretty sweet. So go get it guys. All right, and without further ado, let's jump into the event itself. So welcome to the eye of the storm. Fear, pain, and fury, where will they lead her next? Um. I don't know. Where, where will they lead her? Okay, number one, we've got time limited event stages. So this was a pretty easy prediction. It's probably just like a bunch of story stages. And so you can see down here, it says that it is actually split into two parts. We've got the basic stages where the wind rises and the challenge stages homebound. This sounds eerily similar to like your normal stages and your challenge stages in Arknights. So obviously after the event ends, you will no longer be able to do these stages. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And that's kind of exactly it. So it looks like the normal stages are coming out and it's going to persist for two weeks. And and then the challenge stages will be unlocked about five days after that and it will persist till the end of the event. Not a bad way to do it. It's fine. It's pretty standard. The only thing that's really standing out to me is like I'm hearing new Lou members. First clear Lou members, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, give me that good stuff, man. Okay, and so the only unlock condition is clearing stage 116. All right, moving on. We've got the time limited event store. The highway store is now open. This is awesome because this is another prediction that I got right. We've got the event currency, which in this case is going to be the wrench nut emblem. And then with these emblems, you'll be able to actually exchange for things, including the five star Aurorian Dawn. The five star Aurorian Dawn can only be obtained by redeeming tokens in the event store. I don't know, guys, this is starting to look like a real carbon copy of like another game that I know. With that being said, though, that is completely fine. And like, you know, we take those. All right. So the good thing to note about this is that it looks like we actually have an extra period after the event ends to actually redeem. I know a lot of people like forget to buy out the shop and stuff. So it looks like they've given us a grace period, which is really, really nice. After that, it looks like our remaining nuts actually gets converted to night him at exchange rate of 1 to 100. Not bad, but I probably wouldn't like over farm this like until we see the rates. Maybe the rates are actually really, really freaking good and we should over farm it. Typically in games it's not, but we'll just have to see the rates. But yeah, that is something to keep in mind. Like this might be a decent way to farm Nightium. All right, so as for Dawn, it's funny because they have not released her on the English Twitter. However, they have released her on the JP Twitter. And so guys, this is what Dawn looks like. Unfortunately, there is nothing about like her skills or anything. And so at this point, this is all you're gonna get. Like all I can say is that it's low key a little bit kind of creepy. I'm sure Dawn is a nice girl, but like <laughs> the aesthetic, like, um, yeah, it's a little bit horrifying. There is not really any clear element that I can see, but if I was to guess, I would probably guess forest. Just because I don't really see like any like crazy elements going on. There's no like thunder or lightning everywhere. You don't see no fire. You don't see no water, but you do see like some grassy green patches. So yeah, I think forest is a pretty good guess. I'm just going to pray that she's a converter because this game could always use more converters. One day I'm going to have 20 converters in four teams, all four elements with converters. That is the dream guys. That is the freaking dream. Anyway, I digress. And so let's get back to it over here. After that, we've got the new time limited log in event. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's have a look at what we get. So we're getting a bunch of nuts and a bunch of nitium. I'm just looking through this and seeing if there's anything that really stands out. 100, 200, 300, 500. So that's about 800 Lumamba. A little bit more than two pulls. It's okay. I guess it's okay. But keep in mind guys that this is just the login event. So like there might actually be more stuff in the event shop as we discussed before. Coming back down here, we also get a Dawn Blossom exclusive event avatar. So that's really cool. I'm a really big sucker for these like collectibles. It'll be a nice one to add to the collection. Something that does stand out to me is this thunder powder over here. And I'm just wondering if this is for Eve or if this is for Dawn, because if it is for Dawn, then it could suggest that she is a thunder unit. However, I still am going to guess that she is a forest unit. You guys have seen like all the thunder units. This does not look like a thunder unit. This looks like a forest unit. There's a freaking flower and there's no lightning anywhere. I, I am convinced. I am so convinced it is going to be a forest character. Big caveat that this is pure speculation. Please do not sue me if she turns out to be thunder or literally 
literally anything else but forest. Okay, moving on, we've got the Red Eye Tempest Time Limited Recruitment Begins. <laughs> that was quite a mouthful, but essentially we have Eve and Sinsa. So if you guys haven't watched the PV or you guys haven't seen like any material regarding them, essentially these are going to be like your focus characters for the event. The story is going to be centered around these two and so we'll see what they're up to. Okay, so this is a really interesting banner because I think this is a new banner. So what this means is that we might be getting a fifth banner. So if I look down here, during the time limited Red Eye Tempest recruitment period, Rorian's Eve and Sinsa will be available only from this recruitment banner. On top of that, if you hit a six star, you will have a 75% chance of recruiting one of these two Aurorians. Okay, okay guys, so that's actually quite a lot to sink in. First of all, what this means is that these two characters are not going to be replacing the Carleen and Uriel banner. On top of that, this is essentially using the same mechanics as the Triple R banner. You guys know the banner that's running right now with the Iridan and Midgard. So it's using the exact same mechanics. It doesn't suggest anywhere that they will be getting like the pity from those two banners. And so that's going to be something that will be interesting to see. On top of that, this is just giving me PTSD because like I had to spend 300 pulls to pity W on the Arknights banner. But essentially the banner still has the pitfall of like not being able to pity or spark like the character you want. You could technically pull a thousand times and still not get Eve or Sinsa. But I think that's a deeper problem with the game. So I'm not going to talk about that too much here. Now the good thing about this is that when the time limited recruitment ends, they will be added to the mainstay pool. However, I do need to point out that it will be added on July 29th, which is after the event ends. And so if you guys do want these characters, don't dump your star flares until after this day. Okay, well that's really interesting because like this is really not what I thought it's going to be. Again, my prediction was that Uriel and Carleen were going to turn into Sinsa and Eve. Two separate banners continuing to be two separate banners. This is actually getting a little bit much, right? So after this, we're going to have like a mainstay banner. We're going to have the triple R banner and we're going to have this banner as well. We're also going to lose the Carleen and Uriel banner unless they actually go and replace them. And so at this stage, it means that there are potentially three to five banners. I don't think it's too big of a deal, but I think we'll just need to move on to really see like how all of this works out. All right, moving on. Next, we've got new mainstay recruitment Aurorians, Carleen and Uriel. You guys should already know this. Pretty much everyone that has popped up, it says that they will be added to the mainstay banners. All right, and lastly, we have this one, which is exclusive event furniture. Whoa, this is awesome because this is exactly what I was asking for. Okay, so what do we have here? We have an exclusive event avatar obtained from the login event. So this is the one that we actually just talked about over here, Dawn Blossom exclusive event avatar. So that's nice. I think this actually is going to look like this one up here. Coming back over here next, we've got Volcanic Stone, which looks like this guy over here. This one, as well as the Potted Dawn Flower, which looks like it's this one. They will be redeemed from the highway store. Next, we've got the Powerball model, which is obtained after completing assigned stage quests. See the Desert Bounty event quest screen for details. Okay, so this actually confirms another one of my predictions which is that there are actually going to be event quests associated with all of this. So what that really means is guys, do not forget to do them. Now here's another prediction and it's that the event quests are probably going to give you like those event currencies. I'm not basing this on anything aside from the fact that it might be like carbon copy from AK. But yeah, guys, just remember to do them. And so yeah, let's see if that one comes true. And so last we've got a smiling thermos model. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so it looks like it's this guy up here and it's, it's kind of cute actually. And to get this guy, it is obtained after clearing the S4 trial stage with three stars. Okay, so right now it looks like this furniture is not tied to like too hard of a requirements because I know in Arknights and an event just actually ended so I can kind of talk about this fresh in my mind, but it's kind of like, okay, complete this stage, make sure you get three stars and also make sure like everything survives. Don't let anything die, give me your liver and maybe I'll let you like finish this quest. Stuff like that, right? So we might see that in the Desert Bounty event screen, but like at this point we won't know. But yeah, keep an eye out for that kind of stuff because that's what's gonna catch us. Okay, so I think we're actually all done here. Here. That's really awesome. I'm still a little bit shook about like how they did this one here. I'm not really a big fan of this because like if I imagine like Uriel and Carleen sharing 37 and a half on the same banner, I would probably have gone nuts because the rates are just like kind of eh. But otherwise, I think like almost every single one of my predictions actually came true. I mean, to be honest, guys, like this was not that hard to predict. With all of the different systems that they've actually implemented into the game so far, like it was kind of obvious what they were going to do. I guess one of the biggest questions that this doesn't really answer for me is like, A, what are we going to get in the event store, but also B, which stage do I farm? And so that'll be really interesting to see. Hopefully, like, we'll be able to actually get some higher, like, stamina efficiency stages for ascension materials. I'm working on my second ascension three character right now, and I'm telling you guys, it is hell. But yeah, guys, I think that's kind of it for this one. I'm super excited, but like, for now, let's wrap up the video. All right, guys, secret question. How do you guys feel about the welfare character? I expressed before
before that I found it a little bit creepy, but I want to know what you guys think. It's just got that whole look, that whole theme going in. Oh god, I just hate horror guys. Like this is why I stick with waifu games. But to me, Dawn is actually like kind of scary. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Dawn down in the comments below. And if you guys do manage to drop a comment, let me just click out of that. I would really appreciate it because it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you very much. Otherwise, if you guys have found this video kind of helpful or mildly entertaining, then please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a follow. I don't know why I blanked out there, but a follow. Come join the Discord if you're looking for a good time, but otherwise, if you're looking to support the channel, we have a couple of ways down in the description below. We've got some affiliate links. We've got a membership button where you can get a cool badge. But otherwise, as my auntie once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.